A sequence of steps to solve a problem is known as an algorithm. It might sound complicated, but it's as simple as a recipe for a milkshake. For GCSE Computer Science, that question actually came up last year, where it was, what is a definition of an algorithm? And the answer is simply a sequence of instructions to solve a problem. When we're solving step five, we need to be in a position where the first two layers are complete and we're working on the top layer. By the end of step five, we should see a yellow cross. So to show you how to get to there, this is what we do. We've first got to have a look at the top layer and we've got to make a backwards L. So just like here, we've got a backwards L. So the centerpiece is, is going to be yellow. We want a yellow piece at the 12 o'clock position and we want a yellow piece at the nine o'clock position. So we've got to start off with this backwards L. It won't work any other way. If I do it this way or this way or this way, it just won't work. I've got to do it in this, from, from this position. Okay, so let's do the moves. The moves for step five is F, U, R, U prime, R prime, and F prime. And now I've got my yellow cross. Okay? So what if you're in a position where you can't make a backwards L? So where the rest of the cubes all sorted, exactly how we want it to be, but then on the top, we've not got the pieces in the 12 and the nine o'clock position, just like these two examples. What we have to do here is repeat the algorithm a couple of times, okay? So for example, I'll start with this, repeat the algorithm. So we've got F, U, R, U, R, F. And as you can see, we've got the pieces now. We just need to make sure we turn them in the right direction. Here we go, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock. Let's do the algorithm again. F, U, R, U, R, F. And here we go, we've got our cross. That's the first example. Here, again, it doesn't really matter how you hold it, you've just got to do the moves a couple of times. So let's start. F, U, R, U, R, F. Here we go, okay. Did it once. I've not got the pieces in the position. Let's do it again. F, U, R, U, R, F. Here we go. Turn them in the right direction. One more time. F, U, R, U, R, F. And here we go. We've got our yellow cross. So by the end of step five, we need to make sure we've got a yellow cross. Well done so far. You're doing really well. We've done five out of the eight steps. There's only three more steps remaining. Make sure you can get to this point quite comfortably. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next step.